Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's doing really well. Whoops, sorry about that. Hope everyone's doing really well today. I am so happy to be back with you guys today. Um, I see a few people are in here already. I thought for today we might talk about, like, a lot of people ask me if they can use quilting cotton to make anything uh, as far as um, apparel or how to use it in other sewing. Because um, a lot of us have like tons and tons of it that we've just accumulated and you can use it and there's a lot of ideas and projects we can use it for. So I thought maybe we might just throw out there what you've used quilting cotton for and um, what you might might use it for in the future and do you have any tips about it? Um, it doesn't have any give. That's one big thing. You know, you can't, you have to make sure you got ease uh, in your fitting because there's no give <laughs> quilting cotton. So anyway, excuse me for a moment. I'm very dry today and I don't know why. So I had a wonderful trip. I hope you guys are all doing well. Hi, Elizabeth. Nice to see you. It's been um, an incredible, uh, it was just an incredible two weeks. Um, we didn't do a whole lot, really. We went out to eat a lot. Um, really beautiful restaurants. Watched the sunset a gazillion times, which is always beautiful. We swam. We... Um, just laid in the beach in red. Um, we had a beautiful room overlooking the ocean and I got up and watched the sunrise one day. So it was just a, a really, really beautiful, uh, restful vacation. So I really enjoyed it. I couldn't do too much because of my back, but that was okay because Kevin's sister actually is um, confined to a walker. So um, I didn't need to worry about really slowing anybody down because, you know, she has a hard time too. So, um, but we had a wonderful, wonderful time, good talks, good, good fellowship, and um, it was very bonding for everybody. So, loved it. Mexico is beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you different. There's nothing to be afraid of down there. You stay in the hotel zone and you'll be fine. So... That is just one, uh, one of the things to let you know about that. I'm going to wait for a couple people. Looks like we have some more. Say hey and let me know who you are when you're here. So I hope you got to watch the videos that I posted while I was gone. I did that t-shirt roundup um, just in preparation for this uh t-shirt series that I was going to try and have the whole series filmed before I left, but with doctor's appointments and whatnot, I was not able to do that. So we're going to be doing that now. So um, be watching for the first one will be on heat transferred vinyl and uh, silk screen. So uh, watch out for that. And uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how to do every step, just kind of an overview of all these different things. <clears throat> you can find um, more detailed instructions online or if, you, if there's a lot of requests about one of the procedures, I can do a video on it. So, Hey, hi Ruth, hi Claudia, Lisa and Gail. I missed you guys, I really did. I just, I missed interacting with you guys here and on Facebook, so. Um, news, let's see. I have news on my back, although I don't have a date yet. Um, yesterday I was informed that I need to have L3 and 4 and 4 and 5 laminectomies with rods and fusion. So it's going to be kind of a big surgery. Um, not sure when yet, but I'm looking forward to getting rid of this pain and instability in my back. So, um, and I know it's going to be hard for a little while, but in the end it will be better. So I'm recording and sewing like crazy right now so that I can have some things banked for while I'm off, um, recuperating. So, but I'll try to go live, you know, if I can at all. Um, probably not the first, maybe even the second week, but after that I might be able to 
jump in and say hey to everybody. Hi, Ann. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Judy. Let's see, Catherine. Catherine made a. Oops, can't see it. Catherine made a uh, itch to stitch chai shirt using quilting cotton, mostly to test the fit. It's going to end up being wearable. I'd love some other ideas for that type of fabric. It seems like everybody kind of has a lot of that laying around and you don't know what to do it. A, a shirt is a really good use for that fabric. I think a nice crisp shirt, you can always use quilting cotton for that. Um, if it's 100% cotton, then you're probably going to need to iron it. But other than that, it's a really nice um, shirt. And also, uh, sundresses. I, I like to make sundresses out of quilting cotton. They work out really well. Um, little dresses for little girls also come out really well with quilting cotton. Um, like some of the little Lizard King patterns and whatnot. Um, I've used that for my granddaughters in the past. Um, hello Patricia from Trinidad. Thank you so much. Hi Sally, nice to see you as well. So how is the weather in Trinidad? Probably similar to how I had it in Mexico. It was 84 degrees every day with pretty much clear skies. It would rain, but it would just spit a little bit and then go off, uh, go around us. So it was, it never rained really hard at all the whole time we were there. So it was fantastic weather. <laughs> So I didn't take as many pictures this time because they're the same outfits that I made last year to go. So um, I didn't, you know, do every outfit every day. So, <laughs> but um, I only made just a few things to take with me and um, you've all seen them. So I made uh, the Cleo culottes, the pair of white ones, and I made the fake jumpsuit that I did a video on. And... Um, that's about it. That's the only new thing that I made to take with me. Oh, the Lincoln top. I took the Lincoln top with me. Uh, I did the sleeveless one and with the cool buttons. And I wore that too as well. I wore that with my denim um, uh, Cleo culottes um, to dinner. It was nice. Okay, let's see. Lisa, you like the Melody Dolman. Yep, I actually um, made my Melody Dolman, one of them, from Quilting Cotton because I had the, the Beatles motif fabric and I used that on half of the front because I only had half a yard of it. So I just did this and then the rest was navy. It worked out really well. All right. Claudia said she had the same surgery. Okay. One mistake was not getting a second opinion. It's a big deal and another opinion is well worth it. Uh, good point. I, um, I feel really, really trusting of my surgeon though because he's done two other back surgeries for me. And I also worked with him when I was still working in the hospital as an RN. Um, and I kind of know him and know that he's not the kind to just happy cut, you know. He's not the kind that just likes to do surgery for surgery's sake. So I think I think I, tr I feel pretty good about trusting him. I'm going to speak to my um, primary doctor, too, and just get his take on everything. And then go from there. Sandra, hi, how are you? She says, I still want to make the uh, Love Notions Melody Dolman with quilting cotton. Yeah, a lot of people are, you know, quilters and they have all this cotton and they would love to use it for apparel, but, you know, they don't really know how to use it. So that's why I thought it would be a good topic. I really like it for little girls' dresses. That's probably my favorite thing. Um... Pillowcases is another thing. I know it's not apparel, but, you know, if you have a yard left of something and you want to know what to do with it, you know, who wouldn't 
you know, what little girl wouldn't love a fancy pillowcase or, you know, flowers on it or something. Um, kids always love stuff like that. Can the melody be made from one yard of the quilting cotton? I think it depends on your size, but I think you might need a bit more than that. Um, probably one and a half. I, I Let me look it up. Excuse me, I got the hiccups today. I'm going to look that up for you. It's taking its time getting there. Oops. Hmm. Okay. I might have to look at it later because I'm having issues here. But hi, D. Nice to see you and Brenda. That's good. Everybody is. Um, everybody is so close um, to me here. I. I don't know. You guys, I really, really missed just getting online and chatting while I was gone. There was no time. <laughs> it was just like, um, even though we're laying around, you know, well, we're going to lay here till four o'clock, have a happy hour drink, then go upstairs and get ready and go to dinner. Then we get back and we play cards every single night. So it was, um, you know, pretty, pretty full schedule for relaxing. Um, I'm going to look that up here on my phone, the yardage for the Melody Dolman. All right. If it's 45 inches wide, you need two yards um, if you are under an extra large, and if you have extra large and over you need two and seven eighths <clears throat> however if it's 54 inches wide you can get by with a yard and five eighths so um, yeah you have to have a couple yards depending on how what size you are that is very true Kathy uh, no drape to quilting cotton so you have to think about that if you're going to use it on a shirt it's got to be a crisp shirt the Melody Doman is a perfect example of a shirt that would, you know, something with a nice crisp collar, something like that. Um, or the uh, bottom skirt on a dress for a little girl or something where you don't need a lot of drapiness or give. Um, the other thing is you want your sizing to be, um, you know, sometimes you might have to size up because there's no give at all. There's no, you know, so if your pattern doesn't have wearable ease in there, you might have to size up sometimes for um, that because it, it's not going to give or anything. Hello, Linda. Nice that you could join us today. I'm glad that you're here. All right. Guys, my lips <laughs> are so dry. I can't stand it. All right. Hi, Lisa. Yes, it does. It softens up with the wash. I know uh, if you make P PJ pants, at first they're not going to be very comfortable. And then you wash them a few times and they start to sort of mold to you. And it's, it is nice then, very comfy. It doesn't drape still, but it does kind of conform to your body and, and feels comfortable, especially if they're just a little on the large side. The Melody Dolman Judy, the Melody Dolman is, I'm going to put the link here. Um, Yeah. 
one moment. I'm going to find it here. Here we go. I'm going to put this right in the comments. Let's make sure that this is correct. Okay. Okay. That is the link for the Melody Dolman, and it is an affiliate link. So um, I have to tell you that. So, but it is. Um, I would make a little bit of commission off of that if you use that link. But don't feel obligated to, to use that one. I use quilting cotton for shirts, but always use a print so it won't show the wrinkles so much. Ah, uh, good point. Good point. It's funny, a lot of us have made Melody Dolmans out of quilts. I had a feeling that it would be some shirt that would c come to the forefront. Kathy, my, um, I don't have, this time it's not a herniated disc. I actually had a lumbar discectomy um, 20 years ago. Um, now I have arthritis in my back, which has caused stenosis. So literally, my spinal cord is choked at in the middle of each vertebrae from 3 and 4 and 4 and 5. So they have to do something to open up that canal. So that's why I had such a big surgery. But um, yeah, the herniated disc, uh, um, the lumbar discectomy was a breeze, piece of cake. <laughs> so, I mean, well, leading up to it was way worse than the surgery, I guess is what I'll say to that. This is going to be a little bit more difficult, but um, I do love um, that surgeon, and I think that he'll do a good job, and I'll be right back at it. Um, but this wouldn't be helped by a discectomy. Otherwise, I'd have another one because it was really easy. <laughs> I'm not sure what uh, what the uh, WH is. <laughs> Sorry, Nancy. Let me know. So what have you been sewing? I admit I have not really started anything. I just got back on a Saturday night late. So, and then yesterday I had, was at the surgeon um, getting the <laughs> dreaded news of what he wanted to do. And um, so I haven't really been up here in my sewing room much yet. <laughs> That's going to change. So I'll be busy on that plus maybe a little costume touch up because the um, musical that my grandkids are in is next weekend so and I've already made a lot of the costumes but um, I might need to touch some of them up so we'll see <laughs> For last year's Frugal Fox Challenge, Sandra made a Peppermint Magazine's Barden dress with quilting cotton. Oh, I love that pattern. It's so pretty. I wanted to make one of those before I left, and I didn't get around to it. There's so many things I wanted to make before I left. Just, It's just crazy. I did, though, buy um, a couple of really pretty beach wraps to do like what I did last year. I don't know if you guys remember that I bought beach wraps and made them into tops. Um, they were both cadence tops. Uh, but this time I got some sheer. 
I'll show them to you. I don't have them up here because they're still downstairs, but um, it was a sheer blue with like a jacquard silky print on it. Um, just beautiful. I had like seashells and stuff. Um, I think that one might end up being a bathing suit cover up. Um, but something different. Uh, I'm not sure. And then the other one that I got was just a pretty print and um, should really be nice. So we'll see how that goes too. Linda's looking for a nice basic shirt pattern. So let's see what kind of answers we can come up with. Um, I do know that the Melody Dolman is wonderful by Love Notions. And if you haven't seen that, here, let me, I think I can pull that up. There is the Melody Dolman. Oop. Here's the, the line drawing for it. And that's, that's the one, the link where I have posted there above. It's a really nice pattern. Makes a nice crisp shirt. It's easy. It has darts, but no set in sleeves. They're grown on sleeves. So, super pretty. All right, so how, uh, let's see. So if you have any suggestions, um, I do know that Love Notions is going to be working on a button down shirt, um, more of a tailored one. So stay tuned for that. That testing is coming up soon. So I don't have much information on it yet, but um, I'll probably test it. So um, I'll have some soon. Hello, Tracy. Nice to see you. Yes, Lisa, it is it's very flattering on anybody. Um, and the length, you know, is a tad shorter than what I would normally wear, but it looks, it looks really nice. Um, and I love mine because it's half the Beatles <laughs> and half, um, let me see if I can find it for you. Uh, well, you can go back um, in my channel. I have a whole video on that uh, Melody Dolman is a review and I showed my um, Beatles one. So <laughs> it's pretty fun. I literally had half a yard of fabric from um, Spoonflower. And so I did just one half of that panel right here in the Beatles motif. And then this was navy blue. And um, then I did the um, uh, cuffs were both in the Beatles fabric. So it, it just came out super cute. What summer dress pattern do you recommend for linen that does not have too many gathers? Oh, I know. I've got a really good one for you. Let me find it and I'll show you. It is the Megan Nielsen Eucalypt. And I love this one. Okay, let me get you to sh uh, let me share my screen with you so you can see this beautiful thing here. Now, you this girl has done some color blocking, but you don't have to do it that way. Um, here's another version. It's a super nice, quick pattern, and just fits really great. 
that seam in the back here I'll show you it's also a top too if you want there's a seam down the back and that is super nice for shaping so it uh, works out really well if you want to here's a so you can see the shaping in the back um, it re it's really flattering and if you get the fit right it is wonderful I wore one of these um, probably four or five days while I was down in Mexico I have a blue one I made out of cotton lawn and um, I use it as a bathing suit cover-up or a dress or whatever I happen to want it for it's so comfy so Alrighty. <laughs> Who doesn't love the Beatles? <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's my favorite shirt. Uh, when we went to see Rain, which is a group, uh, like a tribute band, I was going to wear that, but it was super, super cold, and, you know, Melody Dolan's don't have long sleeves. So I didn't, I wasn't able to wear that, but I wanted to because of the occasion. So, yes, the archer. I almost forgot about the archer. I have a, uh, the dress version of that. Um, work. That one's nice, too. I like green line patterns a lot. They seem to be easy to follow. They fit well. Um, probably my first t-shirt, my first PDF pattern. Okay. I, I sewed the big four for years and years and years and years. And then I finally found that you can download them online. And the very first pattern that I downloaded was the um, Green Line Lark Tee. And uh, wonderful. It got me hooked on downloading patterns, so now the sky's the limit, you know, with that. But Green Line is a great, a great uh, pattern company. I like them. Huh. Haven't seen that pattern. All right. So tips for sewing, I think if, if you were sewing quilting cotton for apparel, you know, one thing you would want to do is serge. Um, and sometimes where you have pressed open seams, um, you want to make sure you just serge the ends so that you can still have them be open so that the, there's not a lot of bulk. That's something that I learned over, over the years. Um, decrease bulk as much as possible and um, facings um, if it's too bulky it might not lay right so you might want to consider just doing some bias binding you can make it out of cold and cotton and just use it um, it can be exactly the same fabric as what you use for your shirt or whatever so um, Bias binding is a great thing to do if you just have some leftover quilting cotton and you want something to do. Just make um, bias binding because, I mean, you can get creative with that, you know. It's kind of that fun thing that nobody sees, you know. <laughs> like, so it's, it's definitely um, a great alternative to a facing if you don't want that bulk right here. Hi, Lynn. No worries. This is an open house. Drop in as you can. <laughs> That's how we roll. So, so what are you guys sewing this week? I um 
I'm sewing a bunch of classic tees. And of course, after I did my t-shirt roundup, Sinclair released a Bondi um, the t-shirt, which I didn't know was going to happen because I'm not like a, I'm not um, in in the know in the inside loop for Sinclair, so I didn't know. And uh, it looks really good. Um, so I'll probably be reviewing that one and making probably one of at least one of the t-shirts in this series. Uh, be one one of those bondies so looks like a really cool pattern let's see if I can bring that one up okay here is the bondy and um, it also has, you can purchase a um, sleeve kit that has all different kinds of sleeves. So, really cool. Um, looks like it has the U, kind of a U shape or a scoop or a V. Really, really nice. So, that's supposed to be fitted. Um, so I'll probably review this pattern um, in the next week or two and see how we like it. But this was literally released, I think maybe it was even today, because um, I had an email from St. Clair to the, St. Clair today. So definitely timely for our little series here. Um, but I wish I would have known because I would have included it in the roundup. So... Anyway, I will be making one or one or more of those. All right. What other um, patterns are you guys turned on to this this week? Um, have you made your Lincoln tops yet? Um, that is, I I feel like that's so incredible. Um, I love that pattern so much. Um, just has so unique category, uh, unique characteristics with the buttons on the sides. Um, and I showed showed you guys my cool unique buttons, but um, just there's a lot you could do with that, you know. Um, so definitely, you know, jump in there with that. Catherine says she's finishing off the chai dress from itch to stitch, working on sewing on the buttons. Okay, cool. When I did that <clears throat> test, I found the size fit. Whoop, found the size fit well, but I had to shorten the bodice and the skirt length. Okay, cool. Thanks. That's good information. Um. Sandra says she finally made the laundry day tea, made it for the so frugal challenge. That's a good one. Also wanted to make a woven project. So many to choose from. Nothing like a challenge to get you motivated. So so true. So true. Nancy's gonna buy the eucalypt as a PDF and try to get it at least a muslin done this week. Ooh, ninety degrees. Well, that's a good one, Nancy. For 90 degrees for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Aw, thank you, Brenda. They, they were cute. I love them. I wore that um, in Mexico, and it, it felt, I don't know, it just felt good because it's different. I love things that are different um, and unique. And then people say, where would you get that top? And you say, well, I made it, <laughs> So, which is always a... Uh, Always fun to say. Lynn is going to do the peekaboo essential tea as a nursing and maternity dress for uh, is it your daughter, right? So that'll be cool. We will love to see pictures of that on the Facebook group, Lynn, when you get that done and see how that was accomplished. 
Oh, still covered in snow in central Ontario. <laughs> That's not too far from me, actually, because I'm in Ohio, so straight down from you, pretty much. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Lynn. So, um, what other plans do I have? I have them. I just, you know, my brain is fried right now. I'm trying to make all these um, appointments before surgery. Like, I need to be cleared by a cardiologist because I have a murmur, and then I need to, um, you know, get lab work, and I need to arrange for somebody to lead worship while I'm off. Um, just all this stuff, and it's like cluttering my brain right now. <laughs> but um, we'll get through. We'll power through. So if you guys have movie suggestions for me, uh, I know that's not sewing related, but um, shoot me a, a message on the Facebook group or in the message, Facebook Messenger or something. Um, I'm looking for some. I'm going to be stuck in bed for a little bit, so movies. <laughs> Bring them on. Movies or series to binge or something. I'm going to need something. So I have some, but not enough to keep me occupied for as long as I'm going to need to. I will be up and at them pretty quickly, um, just for short periods. So they said I'd be able to climb the stairs, um, so I will be able to sew because my sewing room's upstairs, so that's good news. Um, so... Hi, D. Um, I am not sure how long I expect to be down, but I'm going to try and record as many videos um, so that I have things to fill in. Um, I'm thinking it's probably going to be two to three weeks that I might be away from uh, YouTube. I, I'll be in the hospital about two to three days, and then when I come home, I'll just be probably not doing a whole lot for the first maybe week. So I'm thinking maybe in two to three weeks I'd be able to come up here and shoot a um, shoot a video and say hey on chat or something. So um, I won't be out long. <laughs> you know me. Aww. Yes, Brenda, back surgery. Um, L4 and 5 and 3 and 4 laminectomies, and um, they're going to put rods and fusion. So um, I have had other back surgeries, um, but nothing this big. Um, there's no other option for me, really, because I my legs are numb, and, um, you know, the next step would be uh, losing control of things. So I don't want to do that. Um, and so I had to, I need to get it taken care of. So, um, there's not a whole lot you can do for stenosis except just take that pressure off the nerves. Um, and that will do that. And I love my surgeon. I, he's done two other surgeries for me. So I totally trust him. He did my neck. I have a fusion in my neck as well. So. Um, that was a piece of cake. I mean, it really was. I went home the next day. Um, really, the only it felt like I had a sore throat. That was it. Um, totally easy. So maybe this will be easy. <laughs> hoping. Hoping. Thank you. I'm going to heal up quickly because I cannot be away from my sewing room too long. <laughs> I'm going to be up here fiddling around. Um, I've got May birthdays to sew for, so I've got to get up here. And I don't have a date for my surgery yet, so I know it'll be after April 6th because I don't see my car, couldn't get into my cardiologist until then. So, um, probably most likely it's going to be in probably middle uh, to end of April. So, we'll see. It's really only a couple weeks away, April. I mean, it's crazy how fast time goes. Thank you so much, Brenda. I appreciate that. D, 
He says her son David's in the hospital with gangrenous gallbladder. Oh, my goodness. He waited so long to go to the hospital. Oh, my goodness. That's tough. My husband did the same thing, D. He was so sick. And um, they went in there to um, do the gallbladder surgery. And it just, like, it, it was disintegrating because it was so infected. So he ended up staying in ICU, and they ended up uh, putting a drain in, and uh, he had to have that drain for six weeks, and he's fine. He's fine now. No problems at all. I'll be praying for David, for sure. Wow. Yes, praying for him. Um, let's see what else. So the littlest, um, my littlest granddaughter, um, not my little littlest, not Dottie, but Ada, who's nine. Um, this is her first musical, so she's all excited. And, um, the picture I posted of her in her costume that I made her was, She's just so excited to be part of that show. It's awesome. So next weekend, I'll be at the Thursday night, Friday night, and Sunday um, shows. <laughs> We're only going to miss one. But um, we've got different people to take each time, so it'll be fun. Definitely DM me praying for David. It's such a hard thing. I was so worried when I heard that from my husband, and I just, yeah, it's a very, very terrible thing, so I'll be praying. Um, he'll most likely be okay, but it's going to take a little while to get over. Wrong <laughs> place to type that. You've never? Are we playing that that game? <laughs> is this a, is this a drinking game, Brenda? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Never have I ever. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even play drinking games because, <laughs> but it just so struck me funny because you see, you know, like on. You just see people playing drinking games and saying, "Never have I ever." <laughs> His wife, Alexa, could use prayers. She's a, aw, definitely, I will be praying for Alexis. Poor thing. Are they newlyweds? Because, you know, that's just so hard when you see, um, you know, she wants to be there with him and not have, uh, not let anything happen to him. I'm sure she's scared out of her mind. Hmm. So do you guys notice anything? It's now been over half an hour. And what has not happened? My battery hasn't died. Because I actually bought this dummy battery that goes up in my camera and plugs into the wall. So while I'm shooting, I don't have to use a battery. Is that great or what? So, so this is my first time to use it, and I'm just thrilled because it's not going, I'm not going to have to, you know, put this up <laughs> while I change a battery this time <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Linda, this is a classic tea from Love Notions, um, and I just did the V-neck version. And this is Double Brush Polly from uh, Girl Charlie. So, I love this, love this print. I have a, a uh, cardigan, this color right here. It's a Harper from Sinclair. And it looks really good with this top because it pulls out that blue. Hey, he's right. Yep. I was so happy to find that. Um, I was ready to try to find another camera because 
Um, I love this camera um, for my other, like it's my family camera too. So I, I love it for that. You guys know I'm, I'm a retired professional photographer. So um, even a little camera has to have some bells and whistles for me to be happy. And this little guy has it all, except the battery life. So um, while I'm shooting, it doesn't seem to run down as fast. But during video, it was just like a half hour was it. So um, I was thrilled to find this solution to this. White cotton lycra. I have good luck. Again, I hate to be a, you know... Hate to be a, uh, you know, dead horse or whatever, uh, but Girl Charlie is where I generally get mine, and it's not see-through at all. So. Oh, cool. I bet she looks better in it than I do, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the wall color needs to change. I'm sick of the yellow. It was sunny and bright when I first, you know, that was it was my happy place and it was, you know, it was so cool. But it, it on video it doesn't translate that well. So I think you know, maybe this summer sometime I think I might paint the walls um just an off white just because that's the best for um, skin tones and stuff on video. This is a terrible, terrible um, thing to work with for color, um, um, color correction. So, and I'm very picky about color correction. And there have been a few times where I've put out a video that was like, it's so off, but you know, um, yeah, it's, it's, I, it's a, I've got it down better, but I would like to see it be more neutral. So, like a off white or something. I like warm, just not this warm. <laughs> oh, I think you'll be really happy, uh, Lynn, with your um, Girl Charlie order. Um, I, for the most part, have always been happy. I can't guarantee everybody will be, but I, um, I know that, uh, one person said, you know, that the French terry was really light. Well, the, the weight of the fabric is listed with, you know, when you order. So, you know, if, if it's lightweight, it's not going to be what you think if you're thinking of a French terry for like a jacket or something. So, um, you know, I felt bad for her. She made a comment on the, um, video. So, um, yeah, the French Terry, you know, not just Girl Charlie, but anywhere, it can vary so much in weight. Um, if you get a eight, uh, eight ounce, uh, French Terry, it's going to be kind of, thin and drapey. If you get a, you know, 10, 12 ounce, um, it's going to be more hefty and able to be used as like a metro jacket or something like that. So, um, you just definitely want to look at those listings. Hmm. From cotton fabric, are you talking about cotton, uh, the quilting cotton? Um, I think it would be okay, um, but I would definitely make sure you have enough ease for because it could be really uncomfortable if not. And yeah, I don't see any problem with that, especially like a wide leg. Um, it'll be nice and cool for sure, and just make sure that it's not something that um, is going to be too tight fitting. And um, yeah, quilting cotton doesn't like to be stressed like that. Um, it'll you know, pull and not be very attractive if you don't have enough ease. So, um, 
definitely want to check for that. Yeah, it's 35 inch or 35% stretch isn't really that much, Lynn. Um, it's like any other t shirt, really. Um, yeah. So, what you can do is, you know, if you have one of those um, cards, they have it on most patterns, will have a thing where it, this is the width of a fabric, and then if you stretch it this far, it's 20%, this far, it's, you know, so you can know the um, percent of stretch. What would I recommend? Um, I, if I was making a pair of crop pants, um, and maybe I'm thinking maybe if you're new at it, you might just be doing an elastic waist one or something. Um, then I'm not sure quilting cotton is what I would go with. I might go with more of a twill, like a, um, a twill or a linen, um, both are cotton and could be really comfortable. Twill is a little bit heavier. It's like uh, denim is a twill, but obviously denim, some denims are really, really thick. There's also a um, cotton twill that isn't really, really um, heavy, and that would make a good pair of crop pants um, and be cool and comfortable. Oh, we all have lots to learn, Judy. Every single one of us um, learning every day, <laughs> every single day. So, very cool. And uh, let's see. Patreon, I know I said April 1 was going to be the kick off and I really was on track but I don't want to start it and then go on leave for my back and not have people be paying and there not being a sewing along going on or anything so I probably won't actually start it until after my surgery and I'm back to um, back to recording and everything so I just don't want people to pay for, you know, I don't, I don't want to take people, you know, take people's money and then not be able to have a sew along for this, those couple weeks or whatever. So I'm getting excited though, cause I'm getting things together and I think you're going to like it. I do. So, um, this is going to give me time to, I'll be sitting and I'm working on my little library of techniques that I'm going to have. And um, I, while I'm sort of sitting around, I can work on that for sure. So. It's so nice to be back with you guys today so nice Catherine's in the in the process of learning how to make my own undergarments mm -hmm. just bought a pattern for a body shaper nice well um, two videos ago Catherine and I did a, a, a video on undies so and I did show how you could put the power net in to the Kiki um, underwear, you know, for a shaper, and it works really well. I needed a shaper for one or two dresses that I took to Mexico, and I had those with me, and they worked really well. So, um, definitely take a look at that video. Um, she's looking, Nancy's looking at Soho 7 free range slacks. Ooh. I have not made those. Let me pull those up.
Okay, here is the So House 7 slacks. Those are nice. Are those? Gotta see up close. Those are really cool. Those would be a great pattern to, you know, break into sewing with, I think, yeah, see their, their waist, uh, elastic waist. And they have the big pockets if you want them. And you can do cuffed. So, yeah, very nice. Um, I would definitely take advantage of those really super cute high-waisted too which is nice a lot of tops now kind of need that um, super cute they look good on all body types yeah nice I like those They do look cool and comfy. Let's see. Lisa is getting ready to make some knit joggers with some Walmart offcuts. Good. So I like the Walmart fabrics for practice muslins. Me too. I buy those regularly for, uh, for that and I end up I end up sometimes with a more wearable garment than the one that I make, you know, for real. That's happened to me several times where <clears throat> I made a muslin and I like the muslin better <laughs> than the finished version. <laughs> so. Just any kind of <clears throat> those things are really nice to wear around the house. I know the, um, Thomas track pants for Love Notions are going to be re-released pretty soon for men. Um, they're for boys right now, but they're going to do a men's version. So um, if your men like to be comfy in the house too, you might want to check that out for them. I love cotton lawn. Brenda, you are so right. Love that fabric. Um, my eucalypt dress is in cotton lawn, lawn, I can't talk, cotton lawn, and it's wonderful to wear. It's so comfy, um, roomy, but not baggy. I love it. All right. Well, does anybody have any further questions? I'm going to probably sign off and go get some dinner ready for my hubby and, um, I will um, happily answer any questions that you have if you are in the Facebook group. Well, here, if you're not in the Facebook group, go and join. Um, and I will just, just apply and I will let you in to make sure you uh, answer one of the, at least one of the questions. I've had to turn people away because they didn't answer the questions because then I don't know if it's a bot. So make sure that you answer at least one. <clears throat> And um, also, um, you can join for that. But if you're in there and you um, want to show me the uh, whatever you're making, please feel free to do that. Um, and if any questions, if you want me to see a particular thing because you have a question or you just want to show me or whatever, um, tag me in the post because there's lots and lots of posts there and I can't possibly read them all every day. So tag me if you want me to specifically see it, okay? I see most, but, um, you know, just make sure I see it. Just tag me in the post. All right, well, I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, happy sewing out there. And let me make sure nobody had any other questions. 
And I will see you all in the Facebook group. And I'll see you later this week with a new video. Take care. Happy sewing, guys.